Welcome back, everybody, to the Seattle Seahawks franchise. It's been a few days, I think closer to like a week or something since the last video. Sorry about that. Just haven't felt like playing Madden, but we are back. It's the playoffs. We're in the wild card weekend, taking on the Falcons. And we have a little coach press conference to get to here. Coach, heading into your first playoff game, playoffs of sex, often makes or breaks a career. That is very true. Um, I'm not going to guarantee a victory because that's not my style. Um, you know, granted, I don't think it's like wrong to guarantee a victory. Like, what? Like, would you like say like, yeah, I think we're going to get our asses kicked. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the Joe Namath thing. I was like, man, that was like the coolest thing. I was like, I, all he said was like, yeah, I think we're going to win. It's like, that's ballsy. Or what, what's ballsy about that? I don't get it. Either way, unrelated, no, that's unrelated. Uh, Desmond Ritter is the starting quarterback here. We're going to go full pad starters here. It's the first playoff. We're not going to do full pad starters um, if we win this game. But I think for the first week, the first playoff game, potentially our first and only playoff game, we're going to go full star, full pads for our starters. They're going to get a full practice in. Um, so we get some fatigue on here plus five but like it's not like bad because they all they were all full of like of their like uh their stamina stuff was all full anyway so uh taking a little bit of a plus five hit actually to me doesn't hurt too much at all so uh we have a few upgrades here to do eric mccoy our center and uh we're just gonna go with agile again thought about power but we're just gonna go with agile um try to get everything you know try i would like run blocking to be better we get plus two run block finesse which i think is great um i would love to run the ball more i always say that and then you get into the game and it's like but you know there's some good passing opportunities it's just one of those things i think it's just i think that's just like football you know it's like you want to run the ball but then you look at that like matchup of that like third corner it's like that looks good and then uh you throw the ball a bunch so Terrell Jones having an outstanding rookie season. Uh, thought about some other things here with him, but we're gonna just keep going deep threat for him. And uh, he gets plus two deep route, plus one catching, plus one catching traffic. I would have liked to see a release in there. I think that would have been very nice, but did not get release. And uh, he's still not high enough rating to get a different like superstar ability that's like meaningful. So there's that. So. We are here in Seattle at Lumen Field, taking on the Atlanta Falcons. We already took them on once this season, beat them in a very close game. Desmond Ritter, Drake London, and these boys coming in here. Nate English, his first career playoff game, hopefully the first of many. Moving forward, this defense has really come together as we have gone through this season, has just really improved almost every single you know i'm gonna say every single week but really has improved uh you know as we've gone through the middle portion of the season to the back half and uh you know early season losses definitely didn't allow us to compete for the one seed as much as we would have liked but look at that 27 interceptions on this no that's just madden where there's just like in general there's just too many interceptions um I think most t defenses get like 20 to the Falcons. They've actually had a very good passing offense. Uh, Desmond Ritter, like 40 passing touchdowns on the year. Kenneth Walker, Will Disley getting ready here. Arthur Smith still here. Doesn't have to deal with Marcus Mariota as his quarterback anymore. So we are first onto the field here. The Seahawks, Nate English. 52 touchdowns to 20 interceptions, 4,627 yards. So let's get into this one. First and 10 here, going to be a handoff here. Kenneth Walker trying to get outside. The blocker out there, that guard, doesn't touch anyone. Uh, I guess because I hit turbo, even though it's an outside run. I'm already outside. Time to hit turbo. So second and nine. Big play here. Eskridge. Big play right there by Eskridge. And there's a flag on the play. And that is going to be a personal foul. That's going to be a face mask. So tack on an extra 15 on that. So let's go. 
First and 10 here. Handoff here to Devontae Hunter. Hunter, look at that, taking that one outside. Technically a receiver, but does sort of play in that little uh, Debo Samuel package. And we go hurry up here. Trying to catch them off guard. Trying to catch them with something we like. They're, you know, we, they have a weak front here. So why not just hand it off again? Devontae Hunter inside. Touchdown. Seahawks. Devontae Hunter scores first. And just a nice handoff here. Open hole. I mean, you could have driven a Mack truck through there. Now, a Mack truck is a semi truck, but Devontae Hunter getting into the end zone right there. First score. A little you can't see me action right there for Devontae Hunter. And the Falcons find themselves in an early hole here. So out comes Desmond Ritter. A lot of people question if he would ever really get a chance to start. Was he just a guy to take just to take? But he has really shown himself almost 5,000 yards, 40 touchdowns to 14 interceptions on the season for the second year quarterback out of Cincinnati. So Ritter here going to find Kareem Hunt underneath right there. little check down. Picks up a couple yards. And uh, Jordan Brooks just put it into gear once he got that football. Finished him off right there. Not that way, you perv. So now second and six here for the Falcons. And sort of just a little passing play. And look at that. Desmond Ritter stands strong. Breaks the sack right there. Third and six coming up. But Hayden Peterson had him dead to rights, and somehow Ritter is able to get out of it. So now third and six coming up now. Here's Ritter, throws this one. That's going to be a pass to Kyle Pitts. That's going to be called incomplete. So now Seattle, they can really take the momentum here. And those linemen out front are just not getting their hands on anyone for some of these runs. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's just, you know, someone at EA being dumb, but... Not cool. Eric McCoy going to get called for a hold there. So someone touched someone. Uh, not a good way, though. So here's Kenneth Walker trying to get outside. And uh, picks up a couple yards on that run. Now second and 14. Got to come back now. And throwing this one. And that is almost intercepted. I'm not sure what happened on that route. That, that, that route was run way too deep by Noah Fan. I don't know what happened. I guess he got bumped a little bit. And there's an incompletion. So fourth and 14. Out would come the punt unit for the Seahawks. So, or not Cincinnati. The Falcons pick up here a little bit. Here's a nice underneath throw. I believe that's to Drake London. And he's going to pick up the first down. Ritter navigating the pocket. Finds his man right there. Picks up the first down. Now second and nine. Ritter looking. Throws this one on the run. Cross body because it's Madden. And every quarterback is Patrick Mahomes. Everyone throws across their body on the run. Third and three. First down there for Kareem Hunt. And the Falcons, they got something going here. Now another handoff here to Kareem Hunt. He breaks a tackle. Gets knocked over like that lady he hit. Uh... I'm not going to mention that again. First to 10. Down goes Ritter. Nowosu with the sack. Second and 18. Just came flying off the edge right there. Ritter didn't have time to react. By the time he noticed it, too little, too late, pal. Down you go. Loss of eight on the play. Second and 18. Screen play here. And that's going to be a loss of two right there. So now the Falcons going the wrong way here. Ritter looking. Navigating the pocket, throws this one to some little short receiver. I'll pick up a few right there, but out would come the field goal unit. And this one was good here. So the Falcons get on the board, but they still trail. It's the Seahawks lead, 7-3. to three. So out comes Nate English, throws this one. And no offense, now they can connect on a play right there. First down, Seahawks. First down, Noah Fant. Not sure what's wrong with his skin when he hits the lighting. English now looking. Throws this one here. Terrell Jones can't come up with the catch because, you know, that's an early breakup or something like that. Whatever. Here's DK Metcalf coming up with the play right there. Very nice stuff. Third and six. English throws this one. Going to find a hole in the defense. And that's going to be to Kenneth Walker right there. Quick strike. First down. Decide to go hurry up here. Not sure what they're going to pick. I do know what we're going to pick, honestly. I believe this is going to be a run play. 
trying to trying to establish the run here. And again, uh, you know, these guys, uh, they kind of don't block anyone. They kind of just like look at them and go block someone else instead of just putting like a linebacker on their ass. So deep shot here, DK Metcalf, he can't come up with early breakup. I'm not sure how that's an early breakup. The ball's already in his hands. What's early about it? Either way, third and 10. English going to take a deep shot here to Eskridge. Early breakup again. So they must have buffed early breakups for you crybabies who play competitive or something. Uh, either way, still got enough yardage to kick a field goal right there and extend the lead by seven. Myers hits that one. I wouldn't say perfectly, but still good. Here is uh, Desmond Renner. A little bit of happy feet right there. Maybe affected the accuracy of that throw. This time, stands strong in the pocket. Just makes the throw to uh, Algeyer. So now third and six. Here comes the Falcons again. Deep throw here, and that one is early breakup as well. That looks more like an actual early breakup as opposed to it being in the receiver's hands and just popping out. That one is uh, very inaccurate by Nate English. Third and nine. That should have been an easy completion. So now third and nine. English looking, throws this one underneath. I don't know how that's an early breakup. The DB never touched anyone. He just dropped it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Madden for you. Now you know why I, I, I'm, I haven't been pumping up videos as much of this recently. And here's Ritter. He's going to get sacked this time. It's Marco Estest. Bringing him down. Rookie defensive tackle getting the sack. Third and ten. Can they get him off the field? Ritter, nice throw to Kyle Pitts. Jamal Adams kind of just standing there, standing still. Can't make a play. Allows Pitts to pick up the first down and then some. So here is a nice throw out here into the flats to Kareem Hunt. And now bring up second and eight. Second and eight for the Falcons. Going to be a toss play here. Kareem Hunt gets outside, cuts it back inside, picks up the first down after breaking a few tackles. So the Seahawks defense kind of struggling a little bit here with the run game of this Falcons team. Now another handoff here to Al Geyer, and everyone's going the other way. Al Geyer gets brought down first and 10 at the 15 after a 16-yard run. His skin looks weird. And here is going to be a read option here. Desmond Ritter going to take off. And Quandre Diggs upends Ritter after a 12-yard run. So now first and goal. Going to be a handoff here to Kareem Hunt. And he gets knocked back. But Marco Estes comes up hurt on this play. So now second and goal. Going to be a handoff here. Kareem Hunt just going to take it in for the touchdown. Not sure what Jamal Adams was doing on that play kind of just looked at him i was like all right dude go go in for a touchdown take a look here cream hunt joe at i don't know what he's doing he's like backpedaling for some reason so now it's a tie football game seahawks gonna need to find something that's almost intercepted four for 12 so far for english now english looking around gonna navigate gonna find dk metcalf middle of the field He's going to get brought down at the 46. They're going to go hurry up here. English. Shotgun formation. Running back to his left. Going to look here. Throws this one up. Deep play. DK can't come up with it. Another supposed early breakup. Second and 10. English going to try for Terrell Jones. And he can't come up with the footballs in and out of his hands. I'm surprised they didn't say early breakup. So now English looking, going to find Noah Fant here. He's not going to be able to get away fourth and four. They're going to go hurry up here. They're going to go for this one. Fourth and four at the 48. English trying to draw him off sides. Steps back, looks, and there's pressure. There's a sack. Down goes English. And now Seattle gets, or no, Seattle, they low. The Falcons to get some great field position here. Second and nine. But there's Jordan Brooks with a big play right there. Only allows a gain of one. Here's a toss here to, not a toss, a throw to Kyle Pitts. And I'm not sure what Jamal Adams is out there doing, but it doesn't like he's playing football right now. Really struggling right now. So here's Desmond Ritter going to throw this one up. And that was almost 
a completed catch, but I guess that would be considered an early breakup. Here's a screenplay here, and they sniffed that one out right away. Puna Ford did not allow, I believe that was Kareem Hunt, to get to the spot. And there's a sack right there. There's Nwosu with his second of the game. And that is going to set up the Falcons in great position, fourth and 20, to kick a field goal. So they take a lead here. And just the great field position, I mean, even if they didn't get that original first down, they probably still could have kicked the field goal to take the lead. So now it's 13-10. to 10. Falcons, Nate English, in this offense, they need to get something going here. Those first two drives ended in points, but have not been able to get anything else since that. So first and 10, shotgun formation, running back to the right. Going to be a play-action look here, English. Tosses one deep here. DK Metcalf, he has room, and he's going to not get tripped up. He's going to take this one to the house. One play, all they need. Touchdown, Seahawks, just like that. Quick strike. Take the lead back. And that is the just the dynamic ability of this offense. It's just plays like that. Simple throw right there. Simple catch. Had a linebacker on DK Metcalf. That's just, I don't care if Anderson ran a 4-4-2. He's not going to keep up with DK Metcalf in the open field. First and 10. And there's Kyle Pitts. He's going to pick up a few yards right there. Second and four. Going to be a handoff. Nope, play action. Rizzer, Ritter throws this one to Fitzpatrick. They take a timeout. A minute left here. First and 10. And there's going to be a toss right here to Kareem Hunt. But it looks like there is a penalty on the play, and that is going to be a hold. And that's going to back them up a little bit here. Matt Hennessy in for Jake Matthews, who came up injured on the previous drive. So now first and 20. Here is Ritter just going to check this one down to Al Geyer. Kind of gets stopped right there by Sean Murphy Bunting, but able to get finished off there by Jordan Brooks. So second and 20 still. Seattle, they're going to call a timeout. Second and 20 here, got underneath for Drake London. Third and 11. They're going to go hurry up, the Falcons do. You think you'd want to just take all the time off the clock here. Instead, they go hurry up, and that is going to be an incomplete pass. Seattle still has a timeout. Going to be a punt here. Let's see what Devontae Hunter can do with it here. And Hunter going to get this one outside here, and he's going to pick up some positive yards here. Almost gets to the 40. 18 seconds left, so a, ch a chance to still get some points here. English going to toss this one up here for Kenneth Walker. No offense. I think he could have got that rebound, just kind of didn't try. So now second and 10, English throws this one, hit as he throws, bounced around, and DK comes up with it. Five seconds left, all the way down to the 26, and they're going to call a timeout here, and they're going to kick this field goal. Atlanta easily could have just ran out the clock. Instead, they leave enough time for the Seahawks to get another drive in and get three more points and re-extend their lead out here after the touchdown. So 20-13 to 13 here. And Fal the Falcons probably thought they are going to go into halftime with a three-point lead. Instead, again, they trail by a touchdown. Take a look here at the playoff bracket here, and you see uh, if things hold, or the way things are right now, the Seahawks would likely play the Philadelphia Eagles if they win this game. Or I believe that's the only game they can play. They will play the highest remaining seed. So out comes Desmond Ritter in this Falcons offense, trying to get something going again here. Handoff here to Al Geyer, picks up a couple yards. Second and seven. And there's some movement along the line. And that is going to be a false start here by Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, they're going backwards here. So that gain kind of for nothing. Second and 12, Ritter throws this one up. And that should and this should be intercepted. Jamal Adams. Tough day at the office for him so far. That should have been an easy pick. Third and 12 now. Ritter throws this one on the run. And down goes the receiver. And that is a three and out. And out comes the Seattle offense. So play action look here. Toss here to Noah Fant. Picks up the first down. 9 for 20, 238 yards. Such a weird stat line. Just a little 
flip throw out here to Kenneth Walker. Uh, Nate English not happy with the play because wanted that to develop a little bit more, but that pressure just came in so fast, just had to take the quick check down. So now second and five, another play action look here. English looking, throws this one deep here. Metcalf can't come up with it because he gets a weird animation. So third and five coming up now. Nate English steps back, looking, throws this one up here. Terrell Jones comes down with it, gets behind the defense. Gets the touchdown. They only needed five to pick up the first down. They decide why not take a deep shot. They've been doing it all day. And now they're starting to work here. Terrell Jones just got behind the defense. Outran everyone on Atlanta. You might need two, three guys to go to deal with Terrell Jones. So a quick change of momentum here in this game. Atlanta, things were going their way. They had the lead and then the last about minute 50 of actual game time it's just quickly unraveled for them down 14 now Ritter throws this one just has to get rid of it so now third and nine again Ritter looking around throws this one and that really sh that should have almost a sack for Nwosu either way it's another three and out for Atlanta so here's a run here Kenneth Walker runs right through the linebacker right there and picks up the first down that's his first just real I would say great run of the day. Picks up 10 on that one. So they come back again. Eye formation. Gets some good blocking. Kenneth Walker runs through everybody. Breaks a few tackles. Runs through another tackle. Gets brought down finally. And that's a big gain right there all the way to the 20. Take another look at this. And Kenneth Walker just finally got some open space right there. Ran over the corner. Linebacker couldn't bring him down. Safety couldn't bring him down. And 55 just stayed with the play. And was finally able to to bring down Kenneth Walker. Big play right there. So now first and 10 again, Walker again. Another run, just running through guys at this point. Tried getting the outside running game going earlier, now kind of switching to the inside, and look at that, play action. Couple good runs, and that allows the play action to work, and it's DK Metcalf with another touchdown, and this thing has been blown wide open, pending the PAT, a 20 point lead and after the PAT it will be a 21 point lead and his play action just worked beautifully losing track of DK Metcalf I don't understand how you do it but the Falcons did so now second and six for the Falcons trying to get something going here and there's a first down right here so this drive isn't going to end on a three and out like the last few have So now first and ten Ritter going to find his man right there this will be a pickup of, of around seven second and three Ritter Shotgun formation, empty set, throws this one here, and Algeyer comes up with a nice play right there. Down at the 27, first and 10. So here it comes, run game here, Algeyer again, going to run through some tackles right there and get brought down. He's having a nice day here, but uh, they're trailing a bit here. They're going to need something big fast. Algeyer going to get brought down right there after pick up of two. So now second and eight. And that's not going anywhere. Al Guy are going to get swallowed up there by Big Al Woods. Been in a backup role mostly because of Marco Estes. So Ritter looking, throws this one underneath. Fitzpatrick. Fourth and one right there. So out would come the field goal unit. And they're just going to boot this one in. You think you'd go for it kind of later third quarter. You know... You're down a lot. So here's Kenneth Walker with a nice run right there. Pick up a five. Now they come back again. Second and five. Another run play here. Not as much this time. Pick up a two. And uh, fourth quarter now as the lighting changes. So play action look here. Nate English on the run throws. Going to find DK Metcalf. Gets brought down. Stays in bounds. Big play right there. Nate English. Up over 300 yards passing today. So now first and 10. Going to be a handoff here. Kenneth Walker cuts it back to the right side of the field. Another big play for him. He is really doing it in the second half. So now first and 10. English looking. Throws this one here. Noah Fant just had to get rid of it. And that will be a pickup of two. So now second and eight. Another handoff here. Kenneth Walker breaks a tackle. He has open field. 
Kenneth Walker to the five touchdown Seahawks again. Kenneth Walker touchdown Seahawks and that is this game was already kind of out of reach for the Falcons but that is going to do it for sure. Kenneth Walker breaking a tackle right there. I believe that's Rap, Anthony Rap, Tyler Rap. He didn't wrap him up right there. Kenneth Walker with the touchdown. So now first and 10, Ritter on the run, going to get sacked. Second and 21, third sack of the day for Nwosu. So now third and 21. Here's Mariota, going to get sacked this time by Carlos Basham Jr. What a pickup he's been for this defense midseason acquisition. And he has just been amazing for this team as that sort of just uh, occasional edge rusher. And they can feel it here in Seattle. Their Seahawks are going to be on to the divisional round. And there's a play by Fitzpatrick fourth on 4th and 33. Nice gain, but doesn't pick up the first down. Kind of... Sean Murphy Bunting kind of sat on that route. Not sure why. So here's a handoff here. Kenneth Walker weaving his way through traffic. And Kenneth Walker, big play here. And he's gone. See a touchdown for the Seahawks. That's probably his longest run of the season for Kenneth Walker. Big play right there. And the Seahawks are just running through the Falcons here in this second half. Really started with that big DK Metcalf touchdown to retake the lead in the second quarter after the Falcons kicked that field goal or after they scored the touchdown to take the lead to make it 13 to 10. And they just haven't looked back since. There's another sack for Nwosu. That will make it third and 17. Fourth of the day for Nwosu. So now third and 17. Here is... Mariota, he's going to get sacked again. Carlos Basham Jr. again. Him and Nwosu are going to have to share that one. And that would pretty much do it. 48-16 to 16 is your final as the Seahawks are going to move on to the divisional round of the NFC playoffs. And the Falcons, they hung around in the first half. And then they, and just a switch flipped late in that second quarter. And the Seahawks just ran away with this one as they take it 46 to 16 or 48 to 16. Why am I forgetting the score? Either way, Nate English, 14 of 26, three touchdowns. Desmond Ritter, he didn't play bad. Uh, 26 to 37, 272 yards. He didn't play bad at all. Just they couldn't get anything going offensively after they, uh, I think we just really locked in after they took the lead and, we just never looked back. Devontae Hunter uh, had a touchdown. That He was really nice, especially for the returns. Helped us out on that as well. Kenneth Walker, 17 carries, 183 yards, two touchdowns. He was awesome today. Um, I've been really waiting to see those type of plays from him and glad to see we finally got it in the playoffs of all uh, places. So that's great. DK Metcalf and Terrell Jones. They did their thing. Terrell Jones, only one reception. It was on that deep touchdown pass, which I'm not going to complain about. Um, their pass rush was getting in kind of quick at times, so we really just had to get rid of the ball. So I uh, just didn't have time that often to uh, stand around and kind of scan the field, uh, and kind of make quick decisions. Their secondary played good in that first half. And then Uchara Nwosu, four and a half sacks. Marco Estes, dislocated shoulder, did not return. He'll be fine for the next game, so that's not an injury that's like going to carry over. But Al Woods came in just fine and uh, kind of plugged up their running lanes a little bit, so that was nice to see. And we get an upgrade here for Nick Elliott, and we're just going to go with Agile again, run block, uh, pass block, finesse, probably getting upgrades here, and they do. So that's good to see. Lead blocking gets an upgrade as well, so maybe he'll be better at run blocking a little bit too at times, but... I want to get that pass block finesse up for him uh, just because, uh, yeah, at times you still see him kind of just get beat off the line by those uh, speed rushers and things like that. So I assume that's what that helps stop. We get seven staff points for winning our first playoff game. 
Probably should have called a guarantee. It didn't feel like a guarantee after they kicked that field goal and uh, kind of took a lead. So who are we playing in the next round? Probably the Eagles. It is going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. Nine and eight. Uh, let's take a look here. I think I said it wrong. I think you said we were going to play the lowest remaining. We're going to play the highest remaining seed. And so since the Rams won, um, you know, if the Bears would have won, we'd have been playing the Bears instead of the Rams. So taking on the Eagles, Jalen Hurts and them. And this is a team, if I'm correct, we did play them already earlier in the season. Let's go take a look at that, actually. And we beat them 35-3. to That was one of those... Uh, games where our defense kind of just came alive. Nate English, five touchdown passes, got after the quarterback, got three sacks, forced three turnovers. For Jalen Hurts, uh, three interceptions. And the Eagles are interesting because their running attack isn't all that great. They have Alexander Madison kind of as their lead back, so the running attack is just not where it should be. A lot of checkdowns to Madison, which we happily took. It was like check it down all game really they just really couldn't get anything going let's take a look here at that game versus chicago where this went to overtime it looks like it was really a comeback effort or uh, kind of a back and forth game but the eagles they had to make some things happen in that last quarter in the fourth quarter to get to overtime and they just took it from the bears there in overtime it really the Really, you have to feel bad for Jalen for uh, Justin Fields. Looks like he played a pretty decent game, and just really the Bears' defense kind of couldn't hold on and really stop the Eagles' uh, passing attack because it wasn't like their rushing game was good. It's really not. I think that really hurts this Eagles team. Kind of makes them one-dimensional. If they can't run the ball, you can kind of just send pressure as much as you want against them. And that's kind of what we did, and that's why we forced those turnovers the first meeting we had against them. But we were able to limit Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. Now, in real life, nobody is limiting A.J. Brown right now. Uh, he is, in real life, he's an absolute beast. I couldn't imagine having a player like A.J. Brown and then trading him away. I would just pay A.J. Brown, young receiver in the prime of his career. Kind of seems like it would make sense to pay him. Uh, Devontae Smith was pretty good for them in that game. Looks like they weren't able to force any turnovers. Looks like they got a couple sacks. Were able to get after the quarterback a little bit. Yannick Ngakwe, Fletcher Cox, and Dunbar. So that's something we may have to look out for as we move on to the divisional round and take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Went 9-8 and eight on the season. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this long when I was when I set out to make it, but it is. So I hope you enjoyed it all. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you hit like. I hope you hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to come back for more Seahawks franchise. Next round, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Divisional Round. Later.